This question is asking us to factor negative 18 g to the power of 4 h. Really, what it's asking us to do is to find the prime factorization. Okay? It's the exact same thing as what we've been doing before. So to do this, I'm going to factor the numerical part of the term first, and then I'll worry about my variables later. Just like we learned previously, anytime you have a negative value, you know right away that one of your factors is negative 1 and negative 1 times 18 is negative 18. I'm going to circle the negative 1 in orange to show that that is a prime number. So now I'm going to go back to the 18, which is a composite number, and find two factors of 18. Two factors of 18 that I know about are 2 times 9. I know there are others, but this is the two I'm using. Once again, I can see that 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that to show that it's prime. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find two numbers that multiply together to make it 9. I'll use a different color, and that is 3 times 3. And I know that 3 is also a prime number, so I'll circle that, and I'll circle that. Okay, so I'm done factoring the negative 18 part. Let's write those out. So that is equal to negative 1 times 2 times 3 times 3. One of the differences when you're being asked to factor a monomial is that we're not going to use the exponents. We're actually going to always go in expanded form. So I'm leaving these without exponents. Now I'm going to expand the variables. g to the power of 4 means that there are 4 g factors and h, leaving one h factor. So the prime factorization of negative 18 g to the fourth h is negative 1 times 2 times 3 times 3 times g times g times g times g times h. So the main thing to remember here is that when you're being asked to factor, what you're really needing to make sure you do is that you always write in expanded form. We're going to write in expanded form. Okay. When you're being asked to factor, we will not use exponents in our final answer.